it's time for an unboxing. So you guys know that I love doing these unboxings. I love just opening up the booths and showing you guys new stuff. And Taft is just one of them companies. So when they approached me and asked me if I wanted to do a review, I looked over their website. There's a lot of stuff I like. There's not a lot of stuff that I would wear as casual wear. And that's where I kind of settled in on the pair of boots that I'm hoping is going to be inside this box. There's been a few times now with these new companies who are sending me stuff just to kind of get on the channel or just to do a review or an, op or an unboxing that they've sent me something different. But let's keep fingers crossed. Let's hope that what's inside here is what I asked for. All right, before I go any further, I'm gonna have a sip of beer because this is courtesy of you guys out there. Thank you so much for donating to the channel. Thank you so much for buying me a beer. You guys are great. Sierra Nevada, still one of my favorites after all these years. All right, let's get inside this box. Let's do this. So Leatherman, as always, you guys know, I don't go nowhere without a Leatherman. All right, as you can tell, after all this time, it's still razor sharp. All right, close that up, put that back where it belongs, and here we go. Oh, check this out. Okay, so look at there. You get all their propaganda there. Let's move it over to this one. So as you guys can see, all their websites, where you can find them, social media, all that stuff, right in there, really nice. Box, you open up a box, usually it's just cardboard. They've taken the time to print the inside. I think that taking the time to create nice packaging is really a good place to focus. If you're gonna do something like this, if you're gonna make a high-end product, packaging is really important. And I know a lot of you guys don't care about that, but this is a step in the right direction. This is where you can tell a company is paying a lot of attention to the details, that they're not gonna just let things be. So. Look at that, nice beautiful black box inside. And what's really nice is they've trimmed the box out. They've got it sitting in its own little cardboard cushion, which in my opinion, this is pretty cool. So let's get inside there, see what I mean? A little cardboard cushion. That is uh, really, really interesting. I gotta say, that's good, it's a nice touch. Very nice touch, Taft. All right. Should we do a drum roll? Should we throw something? Ah, forget about it. Let's just open these up. Okay. Beautiful black box. High end, high quality, thick black box. Look at that. Shoehorn. When's the last time you saw me get a shoehorn in a pair of shoes? Look how nice that is. That is a great looking shoehorn too. Little marbling, little bone effect. It's plastic. It's, it's not metal. It's not bone. It's just a piece of plastic, but it's a shoehorn. And who doesn't love a shoehorn? Extra set of laces, as always. Beautiful thing to get an extra set of laces. Let's throw those aside. Storage bags. If you guys aren't using your storage bags that come with your high-end boots, start using them. Keep your boots clean. Use the storage bags. They will keep the boots from getting that white kind of moldy look that we don't like so much because it's just wax and it just gets that patina wax look, but use your storage bags. Let's get to the boots. Enough talking, right? Just want me to shut up and get to the boots. I understand. All right, so let's get all the paper out. Let's unpack the boots first, and then we're gonna move forward, okay. So let's throw all the accoutrements inside here. Oh, let's get that plastic in there. Let's get it all in one spot. I know you're thinking the same thing I am right now. Like, wow, look at that boot. Look how nice that boot looks. Got some more paper inside there, probably paper in the toe, as always, as there should be paper in the toe to keep their shape. You do not want to send boots out from the factory without letting them, stuffing them with something. Let's be a little bit more gentle with that box because it's a nice box. All right, here we go, guys. Those, what do you think? Let's lay them down like this so you can see them in there. Pretty nice. I'll show it to you on this camera. What do you think of that? That's a pretty good looking boot, ain't it? So why did I go with the wingtip? I know you guys are wanting to know this. Why would I go with a wingtip? I mean, when's the last time you think I wore a pair of wingtips? Uh, I don't know, maybe when I was 15, 16. No, actually, that's not true. I used to wear wingtips all the time. I used to find them to be a very stylish looking shoe. 
And now that I can get them in a boot, I think it's gonna be a very stylish looking boot. So what do I think about the quality? What do I think about the build? What are we looking at here? We are looking at a leather sole. Okay, so it's a leather sole and this rubber that's going on here, all this rubber stuff. Yeah, I thought, looking at the website, the first thing I thought was maybe, just maybe, that they cut out the sole in order to fit in with these little rubber nipples, nubs, nibs, whatever you want to call them. But truthfully, what's going on here is that these little guys, these little buggers, they're glued to the surface. So what we're going to end up with is eventually you're going to catch this on something like whether it's a stair or a rung or something climbing up, you know, going inside something, you're going to tear these off eventually, but it's not going to happen right away. I mean, this is a really well-made shoe. The welting is really nice on this. I mean, let me bring this just a little bit closer so you guys can see that welting on there. That's really, really nice welting. That's really well done. No skipping in the stitches. No steps have been missed. None of that. That's just a really nice job there. The color is called Burnt Honey. Now, eh, it's not my favorite color, but for everything they offered in this, it's the one that I thought would look the best for me with my style, if there is such a thing as my style, for stuff that I would want to wear on a daily basis. I thought that Burnt Honey was probably the best thing I could go with. And with them being wingtips, heck, why not? Why wouldn't I do a nice burnt honey like this. It goes great with jeans. This color is going to look great with jeans. I actually have got a beautiful belt that's going to match this, but you know what? Before I go any further, what do you say I uh, put these on? We walk around a little bit. We check them out. We see what they're like. Let's throw a few photos around and I'll be back to close this out and tell you what I think about it. All right, so like I said, they look great with jeans. They feel great. Now inside, I didn't open up and show you the inside, but inside is a non-removable insole, but it's a dress boot. We're not talking a work boot here. So if the insole's attached, it's attached. It's a little bit of a cushion. It's not much, but it's enough to make it comfortable during the break-in period until you collapse this wonderful leather sole and the insole around your foot. The heel to rise, I, you know, I kind of like this distance on this heel it's not too much of a too much of a high heel it's kind of a low profile heel I, I'm, I like it I think this is gonna be a great weekend casual boot personally for myself just something to wear around something that just gives me a different look outside of wearing a pair of Western boots a pair of alligator skin boots or something like that just a nice casual boot something when me and the old lady go out for dinner on a Saturday night that's a cigar smoking boot that's exactly what this is 
All right, hey, if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to check out the links below, the buy me a beer links. Yes, you can buy me a beer. Click the links below, throw me a few bucks. If you find my videos helpful, if you like them, even if you hate my videos and you just wanna buy me a beer to shut me up to get me drunk, do it, throw me a few bucks. Hey, if you've got some questions about the Taft Boots, swing by my Instagram. Just follow me on Instagram. If you wanna know what I think about them, if you're checking out the website and they've got a few things on there that you're interested in, shoot me over a message. Let me know what you're thinking about. If it's size and fits an issue, also hit me up in the messaging service from Instagram and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. It's the main website that I've been using for social media. So hey, hit me up there. All right guys, this has been a Taft unboxing. Thank you so much for watching and hey, I'll see you next time.